Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. Bit of a um, sideline video, a tag video. I was tagged by Abby at Blue Heart Crochet in the question tag, Never Have I Ever, the crochet version. Um, I haven't done a tag for a while, so I thought it'd be great to do this one. It's a bit of fun. I probably don't do tags because I don't get tagged very often. So thank you, Abby, for tagging me. It's much appreciated. So let's get started with never have i ever question one have you crocheted in public yes i have um when i go to the far north queensland crochet for cancer it's at a sporting club where there's bars restaurants gaming lounge and we sit in the lounge area and bar lounge area and crochet we drop off our donations crochet and have a coffee and catch up I've crocheted on the aeroplane. I don't sleep well, so when I'm on a 14 hour flight, it's a good way to kill some time. We're allowed to take crochet hooks on an aeroplane, but not knitting needles. I've crocheted down at the park. So yes, I have crocheted in public quite a bit. Doesn't bother me. I think I crocheted at Hong Kong airport on a stopover that was delayed. And some old guy said to me, I haven't seen anyone do that since I was a kid. My mum used to do it. Made me feel really old. <laughs> anyway, crochet in the car. Well, if Thing or Reeves is driving and we're going on a long trip, yes, I take a car project. But I don't crochet if I'm driving. One, because um, it's illegal, I think, over here. If you get stopped by the police, you will get fined. So, no, I don't crochet when I'm driving, but I will crochet in the car um, when someone else is driving, especially a long road trip. I decide on a road trip project. Um, crocheted outside. Yes, um, it hasn't been weather perfect it's starting to get there it's cooling down it can have rainy days at the moment but yes when the weather is nice and cool in the tropics the sun is shining i love to get outside and sit out there and crochet and have my little dog run around and have some fun so yeah whenever the opportunity arises crochet at work well yes on my lunch break i um i if I'm not busy, which at the moment I'm flat strap, I'm working through lunch every day, I'll take a little project for my lunch break. And um, it could be something small, it could be making poppies, it could be finishing a tea cozy. But yeah, um, I'm not big for getting out shopping and wandering around town on a lunch break. I pack my lunch and I sit in the room and do a bit of crochet. Sold your crochet. Well, yes, I sell it at my charity store that I have occasionally um yes i'll be having one in june i've sold it on etsy i've sold it privately and i have sold it on ebay something because i was contacted by ebay but yes um the first thing i ever sold was a request item um through a friend a lady wanted two red tea cozies in she lives in my community and I made them and I, um, she offered to pay for them. Um, given crochet as a gift. Yes, I have. I've done baby blankets for newborn babies. And uh, even though I'm in an office and employed on my own, we're in a group of offices of small businesses. And um, there's a law firm one of my bosses has there. And it's only small, but he has two girls working for him. who often do a lot of stuff to help me. And at Christmas time, I was blown away. One Christmas, I gave them Christmas tea towels with crochet toppers, and they were over the moon. They thought they're the best. Um, the younger one said to me, these are really hard to get now. And I think the following year, I did them like a, I got a toilet roll and did them like three or four scrunchies and did a gift pack and filled the middle of the toilet roll cylinder with lollies and they wear those every Christmas time now they bring out their um, crocheted scrunchies the younger one got in trouble off the older one for wearing them when it wasn't Christmas time so yeah it's nice to know gifts are appreciated um, Reeves will wear um, house slippers that I make my oldest son in London no way no way well it's too kitsch for him um, 
received crochet as a gift yes I have um, I was thinking the other day I think the last crochet gift I got was from um, Penny Kitty Mum hi Penny she sent me a um, cowl and a ear warmer and I think that's the last crochet gift I've got but I have got them as gifts Hoard yarn because it's on sale. Look, I'm terrible. If I'm at a craft shop and it's really on sale, like really cheap, especially at the moment if it's pure wool, I've got to have it. Even if I don't have a project in mind, I've got to have it. In the past, it's been other stuff like uh, mandala, but at the moment, because pure wool can be a little bit on the exy side, I'm really, if I see a pure wool bargain, I've got to have it. Um, spun your own yarn no I am fascinated watching people spin um, either live or on YouTube I find it really relaxing to watch them spin and it's amazing how they do it I don't know if I'd have the attention span or take the care to spin spend hours looking at patterns well I would have said until this year no but this year I have been fascinated with patterns and learning to do things from patterns. And I have probably used Ravelry more this year than any other year that I have been a member. Stayed up all night to crochet. Well, I've stayed up most of the night, but it's because the Formula One Grand Prix is on. Like this weekend it's in Monaco and the timing's not too bad. But some of the other places up that northern hemisphere, like three in the morning, and I'll stay up and watch that. And I'll have an easy crochet project that's mindless to keep me company. I do like Formula One racing. Go Daniel Ricciardo. Um, cancel plans to crochet instead. No, I don't make a lot of plans. I'm fastidious about if you make plans with someone unless you're ill and close to death you shouldn't cancel it's not it's not nice um, and I won't cancel plans if someone comes along and makes a better offer no I'm yeah far too set in my ways for that it's like being late um, if you're late because you just can't hurry up which thing does a lot to me I really don't like it. I think you should be punctual and you should always stick to your plans. So no, I've never cancelled them to crochet. Taken on a huge project. Well, last year, not the Christmas, just gone one before, Thing did me an advent calendar of his own making from the scraps in my um, scrap yarn. And I started a blanket and I finished it and it was. I decided to take it to queen size. And I actually didn't mind having that around as a mindless project. And I started another one, which I've shown some of you in the past for, and I had a lot of blues and blacks and greys in my scrap yarn or small balls. And I've been making this one. This is my mindless Formula One company project. And this is for Reeves. And it will be a queen size and I think that I'm trying to find where I had the progress keeper from when I last showed it. I think I last showed it um, in a tag by Kitty Mom, um, a blanky tag. There is a crochet, that's where I'm at, but I'm trying to see where the progress keeper is. Oh dear, there is one here somewhere. Here it is. So since I last showed it, you guys, I've only done about that much, but it sits in a corner where I sit in the lounge or the television room and I crochet round and round and I am using all my blues and scraps. So yes, Queen Science Blanket is my biggest project I have ever taken on. Uh, where are we at? Gotten bored with the project, yes. This brings me to the project I thought I would love and I went all out to get the yarn and I didn't finish it. It is called, oh, I can't even think what it's called. It's gone. It's a blanket. I actually asked you guys, my subscribers, whether I should frog it and what I should do with it because I was at that point where I'd gone too far to frog it and I'm not a big frogger 
and a lot of suggestions came in that I love but the biggest one that was a lot of make it into a dog's blanket so I did I forgot what this is called so this is the doll's blanket and I put a little frilly bit in the middle and I found a little doll I'm going to make an outfit for to match it and give it to charity because at the moment here um, there's someone collecting used uh, toys for um, disadvantaged children and I thought well if I do her a little outfit or and put it with the blanket in the same colors it'll be nice so there you go no I don't frog um, I get bored and I got bored with this because there was a lot of ends and it did say there is a lot of changing of yarn and I think that's why I got bored with it and then I didn't like the look of it um, so yeah it's a kaleidoscope blanket that's what it is I remember the name now so that's what I did with that I did actually take notice of what you guys said and turn it into a doll's blanket um skip work to crochet no never i took up um, crocheting and knitting when i started this job because it was part time and it was sort of like a hobby before i started this job i took it back up and for this job i am the only employee so if i don't turn up for work nothing happens nothing gets done and yeah um i haven't been really sick yet <laughs> for anything to set for them to go oh what are we gonna do so no I've never skipped work to crochet had a project ruined by a pet last year first time ever but not my pet a visiting pet um, he was a puppy and I'd left a project on the lounge because I my dogs don't get to go near my yarn or my dog my pet any pets I've ever had don't get to near, go near my yarn all my projects it's all kept separate um, I'm too conscious of people having allergies and yes the little puppy um, had a fine old time and ripped it, a project apart I was doing it was a lap gan which I do a lot of and yeah the person was really apologetic but that was my fault because that was a puppy I let inside and it got somewhere it shouldn't have um, had a project room by a child no I don't have a lot of friends with little kids their grandchildren are usually further away and I don't have grandchildren and um, even though I chat to the kids next door they don't come in here so no never had a project room by a child should leave my glasses on crocheted something wearable yes I have I crocheted something in the past I thought I was really smart one of Bagger Day's lovely tops and it was too small um, I did give it to someone who loved it who it fit it turned out beautifully and currently crochet aside I am knitting my first knitted wearable and that ain't going well either <laughs> um, crochet toys amigurumi well you would know I've got into amigurumi and I've been doing a few. Here's one. Except Amigurumi Wars this month. No, I haven't done anything. The bug hasn't bitten me. I looked at the pattern choices and none of them really set me on fire. But that, you know, you never know what will come along next month. Bartered with your crochet. No. Someone asks me to make it. I usually tell, if they say, what's it going to cost me? I'll tell them the cost of the yarn. And I say, if you want to give me anything more than that, it gets donated to charity. But no, I've never really made crochet items to donate. Yes, I'm all the time making lap gowns and beanies for um, crochet for cancer and other, yeah, all the time. If I'm asked to make a tea cozy for a raffle, sure. What sort of theme are you looking for? Sell my crochet items and donate the money. I had more than five whips on uh, on the go at one time. Oh, yes. I think it was the end of last year I had 21 whips on the go. I was horrified because five is supposed to be my limit. And I'm not going enough to count how many you've got at the moment. It would be close to 10 because I just can't seem to control myself at the moment. I start something and then something else comes along and I want to start it. And then I think, oh, I've got to finish the other one. 
So yes, received yarn for holiday or birthday gifts. Yes, a uh, few years back when I was sort of building up some yarn stock, um, thing gave me a two hundred dollar voucher to spend at a local um, a yarn company in Australia, which I bought a lot of Red Heart yarn from, which I wanted, and um, yeah, friends give me yarn every time i think they now i think that's all i want for a birthday gift something to do with my hobbies of yarning uh, crocheting and knitting unravel one project to start something else no if i'd say this is the first one that i really left aside and couldn't finish most of them I will finish, even if I'm not enjoying them, I'll eventually finish them. But yeah, no, never unravel one to start another. Although the wearable I'm making through my own silly fault, I have to frog. I have thrown aside what I've done and started the same project again because I have to frog what I did because I made a rookie beginner mistake that was shocking. Uh, design day crochet pattern. Well, I'm in the process and it's slow because I'm too tired when I get home from work. I'm designing a tea cozy called um, Emma's Kisses, which is my little friend Emma as a fundraiser for Emma when I sell the pattern. So yes, it's it's just the smaller size. I could just probably upload it and do it as the bigger size, but I did want to include a smaller size and I just haven't got around to it. Maybe that'll prompt me now to finish it. Worked with crochet thread. I have, I'm not good at it because I have big sausage fingers. I have bought more thread to try and improve it because the lighter weight threads are really suitable for the tropics. Taught one or five people to crochet. No. I'm hopeless. I think I have some poor techniques. If I, someone wants to learn to crochet, I refer them to Ulia at Cairns Poppy. She's a teacher of crochet and she does beautiful crochet and she is a great teacher taught five or more people no she does she does classes so she has dyed your own yarn yes i have i have um not so much dyed yarn but over dyed yarn when i've had a, a lot of wool scraps i experimented with over dyeing and then um earlier you would have seen i knitted them up and felted them into a mat to go on sacks and spare so yeah, dyeing yarn's a lot of fun, but I don't know if I'd ever become an indie dyer to sell yarn. It's more about having a bit of fun with colour and then, yeah, casting it aside and then later coming up with a project to put it into. And it was Reeves who said, why don't you make a, um, a mat for Saxon's bed? And I said, because it's wool, I could felt it. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my answers. And my explanation is probably a bit longer than I anticipated. But yeah, it's been fun. And there's some interesting questions. I'm starting to think maybe I should draw up a knitted version. No, I'm joking, Madonna. <laughs> um, so I'm to tag three people. And I thought I would tag smaller channels. I have not been watching many videos. I do try to um, leave at least a small comment to let my people know that I've watched their channels. But I thought I'd encourage some small channels with the tag to do a video and help their channel grow. So um, Mel, the Beanie Queen, who had to restart her channel, you're tagged, Mel. It's time for you to do Have Never Have I Ever. So Mel, the Beanie Queen, um, hooked on wishing and crochet. She's been commenting on my videos lately. I'm determined this weekend to get around and watch a few of hers. So yes, you're tagged, hooked on wishing crochet, have, never have I ever. The questions will be listed in the description below, guys, so you can check them out. And number three, God Rocks, 
2017. Always leaves lovely comments on my video and I've been very uh, remorseful about the fact I haven't got too many of hers yet. So there you're tagged, guys. Look, if there's anyone else out there that wants to have a go and I haven't suggested you, go for it. Um, by all means, have some fun with the tag and think about where, when, why, why do we do all this and, and why is it a hobby. I love my knitting and crocheting. Um, when I walk through the door from work, I know I can have a break, watch a quiz show I like and a cup of tea, prep for dinner if I haven't already got thing to prep everything, cook dinner and then after dinner, shower, sit down and knitting and crochet helps me switch off for the day. Um, it's the most therapeutic thing I have ever taken up again. I wish I'd taken it up during my corporate career and, and I was still doing it then. It would have helped with a lot of the stress. So guys, until next time, stay safe, take care. And remember, you don't have to frog anything. You can always turn it into something. Bye for now.